Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Tonight's guests are Vivian Blaine and from the National Enquirer, Don Monte. And now, here's your host, Hollywood's one of a kind, Skip E. Lowe. New York City, and boy, am I happy to be back in California. New York, that's my favorite place, matter of fact. I was just reading the New York Times. This is 35 Puerto Ricans in a crash. Their bed broke. <laughs> <laughs> I just returned from Puerto Rico. I was an exchange welfare case. <laughs> anyway, would you believe it's so cold in Manhattan right now, How the Statue of Liberty is holding the torch under her skirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I love New York. Matter of fact, I'm happy to be back here. And, you know, I can't even talk straight. Matter of fact, it's time to take a butch pill. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to our show this evening. We have a great show. You know we have? We have the senior editor from the West Coast Editor, ladies and gentlemen, from the National Enquirer, Don Monte. Let's get to <laughs> wonderful screen and stage and she is internationally known ladies and gentlemen the wonderful miss vivian blaine <laughs> this is god how are you folks doing i just got back from new york and it was cold how cold very cold <laughs> <laughs> and how are you been very well what thank you what have you been you. doing with yourself Busy, hanging in there. You certainly are. You are a busy lady, and uh, you just keep busy. Well, I, I find I find that uh, work begets work, and I love to work, and I'm a workaholic, and so uh, th there's nothing else that I would prefer doing anyway. Right. You love the theater, though. Oh, you? I love the theater. The theater, yeah. yeah. Better yeah. than motion pictures. Um, I, well, the rewards are more instantaneous, uh -huh. let's put it that way, but I, I wouldn't mind a, a film here and there. You just did a show right here in... Uh, At the Zephyr. Zephyr mm -hmm. Theater. What mm -hmm. was that? I... That was Family Jokes. It was an original play, um, and we were there for uh, six weeks, uh -huh. and it, it was Equity Waiver, and you know, you really have to love it when you work for nothing. Exactly. Right, way. right. <laughs> but you're such a great performer on that stage. And I, I haven't seen you on stage in a long time because I've been so busy doing my other things. Yes, well. But uh, I was talking to Mimi Hines last night, and she said she, she saw you at that theater, and you were wonderful. She said you were just Thank wonderful. You. Don, did you see her there? I certainly did. You did, huh? And something else that she did just last year at the Pantage is called Star Time. I did see where that. She where was I? Of course I wonderful, was. Wonderful, wonderful. I went with Bobby Morse. That's right. You were there. Yes. I'm so sorry. Do forgive me, Vivian. That's quite all I, right. See, I did see her there. It's Christmas yes. time, otherwise you wouldn't be it forgetting was that. Sorry, <laughs> all that star magic on that stage. And it was, yes, yeah, it was, yes. It was Hildegard. It was special. And, I'm sorry, Vivian. You were the, It was wonderful. I get confused with you and Janet Blair. Why do we I do that? We have that. Uh, we, I don't know. Why? Put together, standing next to each other, we don't look alike. No. But somehow or other, when, when we're apart, I always get, I just loved you in South Pacific, yeah. and she always gets you were wonderful in Guys and you Dolls. You do get that. So thank yeah. God we like each other, otherwise <laughs> it would be a terrible situation. Guys and Dolls, that was a great motion picture. That was, you did that on Broadway. Yes, the original. The original, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And how was Sinatra to work for? Oh, he was wonderful. You know, yeah. it was a very strange thing. Everybody kept uh, waiting for the balloon to go up between uh, Marlon Brando. Uh -huh. and Sinatra uh -huh. uh, because they're, you know, they're enormous stars and, and um, have enormous egos too. But nothing, nothing happened. It was just peace and quiet and I think uh -huh. a lot of people, when the picture was over, just crept away very disappointed. Uh -huh. Do you, you believe uh, Brando has an enormous ego? I mean, he lives I up, don't know. he's a wonderful guy. He lives up in Mulholland, all alone, doesn't go out anywhere. Is that right, Don? He, he lives not far from my house. He lives, he's in town. You're, he ventures out every now and then, but it's yeah, strange hours of the day and he, you're day after, night. You're after those little stories, aren't you? <laughs> well, I, I live up in that area, and one can't help noticing one jogging, can one? <laughs> Tell me, what's, what's the National Enquirer really all about? What is it really all well, about? Well, Skip, what it's about, basically, is entertainment. We uh -huh. are the largest selling publication in the United States. There's something in it for everybody. It's Why informative, it? it's entertainment, it's... As a matter of fact, I get letters from teachers, or they forward letters to me, from teachers all over the country who use it in some of their lessons. Mm -hmm. Because there are how-to pieces, there are political pieces, there are medical pieces, not just entertainment, but I must say we do have more entertainment news now than we ever have had before in our 25-year history. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, we're selling more papers now than we ever have before as well. Mm -hmm. How long have you been working for the National Enquirer? In eternity, forever. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to work for the Enquirer, there was probably a little over a million and a half a week uh -huh. Uh -huh. circulation. And now it's uh, past six and a half million and 33 million readers a uh -huh. week. You're the senior editor for the West Coast. Celebrity, yes. Celebrity editor, mm -hmm. uh-huh. It's gossip, yes. There is, it's, that's what I'm gonna, it's gossip. The magic word. Gossip. Yes, yes. tell me, uh, how do you get let me your explain, stories? Let, how do you let me get explain something to you. Gossip, by virtue of its own definition, is hearsay. Right. We are not out to maim anyone. Mm -hmm. We are not out to hurt anyone. We happen to be very observant. We are very well trained to do what we do. Uh -huh. So if a celebrity like Vivian, Ms. Blaine right. or someone else is out at a party and does something silly or funny, not to yes. hurt them. Yes, I understand. If I don't report you believe that. The public should know now, this. Hold it. If I don't report that, there are 75 or 80 other people in that room. Somebody's going to drop a dime and call the Times, the Examiner, and it may not come out quite as nice uh -huh. because this is an elegant lady. Mm -hmm. A situation is not always the way it looks, but then there are those that are. Uh -huh. And I believe that a star should act like a star in mm -hmm. public, mm -hmm. because their public she is around them and constantly watching. To the public, right, right. And this is a classic example of a yes, star. Yes, yes, she is a star. I you thank know? you, I thank you. <laughs> but unfortunately, not everybody is from the old school, like uh -huh. Ms. Blaine. Yeah, she's, she is from the old school. She started at 20th? Well, at, see, uh, what, there are very few stars yes. left today, Skip. There are what we call personalities. Uh -huh. As opposed to stars. Yes, yes. She's one of the last of the stars. Yes, I agree. You know, and yes, and yes. she's still a star today. She still yes. works. Yes. She's out there working. As a matter of fact, she just cut an album. It's a wonderful and one. It's yeah. a wonderful album, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, I as you really you want to know the truth. I am not a fan of mine, uh -huh. <laughs> and I have yet to hear the album. You haven't. I have not heard it. I was there the it's night they recorded it at the Gardenia Club. It yeah. was at the Gardenia. And, yes. this? Yeah. and uh -huh. I must tell you that that whole club that night was filled to capacity. There was uh -huh. not breathing room. Uh -huh. And Vivian came on that stage, and for an hour and a half, you could hear a pin drop. Uh -huh. People jumped to their feet because she did her whole song bag, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. guys and dolls, right. ballads, pop tunes. She does you it all. You make me feel so wonderful. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a fan? Beside a good friend. We've known each other for years. We go uh -huh. back a long way, but this is truly an artist. Uh -huh. And there's very few of those left where you can go into a club and sit down and be totally captivated yes, for an hour yes, and a half. Yes, yes, yes. And know? she was at the Gardenia. Uh, that's before our New York audience is done. And Vivian, it's a very that smart is a supper small, club here in town, yes. start, a very smart supper club mm -hmm. on Santa Monica Boulevard here in West Hollywood. And I only hope it's the start of the old supper club. Wouldn't that be marvelous? We don't have them in no, there. No, we really do. When, when, when you think uh, to, to go out of an evening right. after dinner, mm -hmm. yes. where do you where, go? What do you thank do? Thank you. Where do you go? See, there was a it's time we had Ciro's and then the Combo. And uh, we had Trocadero. Trocadero, and it went on and on and on. Yeah. But this is about as close as we've come now, and they're starting the trend back. As a matter of fact, even uh, Kathy Gallagher's has just initiated a room up, up above, upstairs, which small, is a tiny little room, mm -hmm. tiny. And they're having name stars, and they've done very well. It's only been open a short time. I saw maybe, Maureen Murphy there yeah. last, uh, a couple of days ago. And Maxine Andrews has played there. Mm -hmm. But it's the start of a trend, I yes. hope, that's going to bring yes. back a place where these stars can perform. That's what I'm know? trying to do it with my showcase. Mm -hmm. I have a room that one doing uh, Teddy's on Melrose mm -hmm. every Tuesday, which is tonight. I'm going to do there tonight. I have people like uh, Robert Walker Jr.'s daughter tonight, who and she brings on Jennifer Jones. The people come in to see this. It's a lovely little room. It's, mm -hmm. it's very small. It's uh, across the street, Mon Ah, uh -huh. It's a very nice room, and I have 20 acts, singers and comedians. And every Tuesday night, I present the showcase. It's, it's very nice. And uh, we don't have supper clubs, though, real supper no. clubs. No. The only one we have is La Cage Full, which is, that's the only... That's more the, the, the nightclub as opposed to an intimate yeah. supper club. Yeah. There's a place in New York that, I, that sticks in my mind and I used to go to years ago, and it's still there, still uh -huh. operating, called The Living Room. Yes, yes. And what's so beautiful, mm -hmm. it's on Second Avenue. Yes, right. It's very intimate. I know the room. Uh, a, a star like Vivian can communicate closely with her mm -hmm. public, you know, mm -hmm. and they love that. They yes. love that, as opposed to a large, huge nightclub where there's no. A la Vegas, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. you can't touch them yeah. really. Do you like to perform in nightclubs, mm -hmm. Vivian? Uh, while I'm on stage, I do. I find it rather a lonely life. If, if you're doing two shows a night, uh -huh. uh, in between, what do you do? You know, it's, right, it's, right, uh, right. it's a hotel things. room yeah. all day. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. But again, uh, when I'm on stage, it makes uh -huh. sense. I want to talk about your album. Okay. This, uh, this is a beautiful picture of you in the back of the cover. Uh, 
It's called Vivian Blaine for You. This is the front cover. It's a beautiful picture. And this is the back. Isn't it a lovely picture? Mm. Um, what's the album all about, Vivian? Actually, it's... Uh, well, it's uh, a lot of, of the Nightclub your songs, Act. Your yes. songs that you uh -huh. have done in yeah. all the years. And you are going to uh, donate the... Donate all the proceeds all go the to proceeds AIDS. All the proceeds to the AIDS. AIDS. Why, uh, why are you doing that? Do you well, just about the time that I was asked to do the album, uh, I had been aware of, of AIDS, of course, uh, but within a week, uh, two of my friends passed away from AIDS. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, dear God. Mm -hmm. And my husband said, well, why don't we, why don't we uh -huh. donate, you're going to do the album anyway, why don't we donate all of the proceeds to AIDS? And I, I of course, That's I... That's great. It, we need, they need a lot of money. They're, I understand they're getting a lot of money from the government now. Oh, it's they? so slow. It's slow, slow it's as slow. molasses. It is, really? You know it. And, and so much of that, they're getting some, but some, certainly not. Not, not enough. But, um, not enough. No. no. It's, yeah. uh, uh, there's never enough of anything for anything. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it's really sl very slow. Let me interrupt a second. I must say that this is something else that Vivian is very hesitant to bring up. But she is the first internationally known star who stepped forward in the name of AIDS, mm -hmm. openly, and said, let's raise some money for these people. Well, that's, that's right. She is. Well, somebody has to. Yes, somebody had to start that's great. it. You know. That's wonderful. I just I love you. <laughs> that's great. Thank you, John, for bringing that up. That's Thank beautiful. You, that's beautiful. Uh, but somebody has to start it, and uh -huh. I just wish there were a lot of people who were uh, following in my footsteps, or at least uh -huh. aiding me a little bit for AIDS. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that will come. Yes, that's very nice. Don, tell me, uh, the National Enquirer, <coughs> um, sometimes the National Enquirer, do you feel they're unfair for certain people and they're not for certain uh, others? Not at all. No, they're not? Not at all, because okay. you see, you have to know the background of the story. Um, we don't just sit down at our desks and write these stories. Mm -hmm. The stories that are on that front page have been in the making, have been in the works for possibly two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. We have teams of reporters teams of five or six reporters, mm -hmm. specialists in their field, who work hand in hand, contacting people who deal with those people, contacting people who work with those people, mm -hmm. sometimes who are related to those people. Mm -hmm. Everything is first-hand information. I see. It's unfortunate that the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, and the Herald Examiner bury what they call corrections in section three, page 49, mm -hmm. but they do it daily. Mm -hmm. And so do the trade papers. Nobody is infallible. Mm -hmm. We do the best we can with the time allotted to give the readers what they want. We have polls. People write letters. This is who we want to read about. Yes. So we make a special effort to go out, dig into these people's personalities, mm -hmm. their careers. Mm -hmm. We snap them coming out of parties and going to functions. We talk with them when we can. Yes. When we can't, we talk to their representatives. Uh -huh. We're not out to hurt anybody. What is a celebrity to you as a writer, as a celebrity writer? A celebrity to me, well, you see, again, I, every show that I do, this question comes up, but you have to understand, today, mm -hmm. it's a package deal. Mm -hmm. If you're going to accept, for instance, a person gets a television series, a starring role in a television series, it's conservative to estimate that that person will make over a million dollars a year mm -hmm in that leading role in a regular television series. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are willing, as a personality, and notice I don't say star because here it's a star. That's this right. is a personality we're talking about. If you're willing to accept that million dollars or more in salary, mm -hmm. it's a package deal. With that comes publicity. Mm -hmm. Some of it good, some of it bad. Not everybody's going to write a puff piece on you. Right, I agree. If you go out and you create a scene in a restaurant, or you are drunk in public, Mm -hmm. or you give a waiter a hard time in another restaurant, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. There are people all over this town. You know how tiny this community is. Oh, right. my right. dear. Right. 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 You there think it, waiters, and they know it. There are yes. bartenders. That people True. see this. People hear this. They tell a friend. A friend tells another friend. And then I get the phone call. And that's I'm where you get your exactly. stories? Exactly. That's where you get your stories from. These you don't go to clubs. You don't go I to clubs. I do every night, yes. You do? I go to clubs, I go to Get it from waiters and bartenders? No, and most of the time, yes, that's true in, in some cases, but most of the time I'm there and see it myself. I see. Because I cover this town like a fine tooth comb right. seven nights a week. You're out every night? Every night. God. I'm out the door at seven o'clock in the evening and I'm not back till two or two thirty in the morning. Mm. Now, one evening, Miss Blaine and her husband went out to dinner with me and I said, I'll tell you what, let's do the run a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Remember that? We went yes, celebrities. it was wonderful. We, we had a great time. <laughs> Did you go along? We ran, had a lovely <laughs> we ran into celebrities. We hit five or six different places, but I do this on a nightly basis. Uh -huh. And if something presents itself during that course of the evening, uh -huh. that's what we write about. Mm -hmm. We eyewitnessed it, we saw it, but we don't go looking for people to write bad things about. This is not so. Uh -huh. A star li acts like a star in public, True. off screen, when there are other people around. Mm -hmm. But the Inquirer is entertainment. We yes. want to give the readers what they want. We have 33 million readers. Yes, that's a lot. They tell us what they want. We don't dictate what, we, what why, we're going to write. Why is your paper such a big hit with everybody? Everybody loves that paper. Word of mouth. I don't know if they love it, but they buy it. Exactly. I'll that's tell you, exactly. there are some yeah. producers who we don't. all know and love in this town. And they're big, we're not talking little producers here. We're talking big fish. Right. And I've known them on a social basis or on a personal level for, for over the years. I've gone into their offices, and I'll see the Inquirer sticking out of a drawer or under a script. Mm -hmm. Now, they know who I work for, and I know that they read it. Mm -hmm. And never the twain shall meet. So. Yes, yes. But uh, everybody reads it, whether it's under the dryer or while you're getting your hair cut yes. or while you're having a massage or yeah. while you're waiting for your car to get washed. Yes. I've even seen people in the market reading it on the line and not nice. put it back in the rack, actually pay for it. Pay for it. How nice, yes. Vivian, tell me something I'd like to know. What was your first Broadway show? Guys and Dolls. Oh, it was. That was your first Broadway show. Mm -hmm. um, where do you go from there? You know, when, when you achieve perfection you were a star immediately. Right from the beginning. Uh, God, you star right from the beginning. And then how did you get into motion pictures? Well, I had been at 20th Century Fox before Guys and Dolls. You were? Mm -hmm. as, a, as a stock player? Or, or uh, as, yeah. as doing yeah. stock playing? And yeah. stuff? Mm -hmm. I see. And I did films like State Fair and Three Little Girls in Blue right. and, and uh, a few others. Who's in State Fair? I can't remember. Uh, Dick, Dick Haynes, right. Uh, Jeannie Crane, Dana Andrews, Faye Bainter, Charlie Winninger, Donald Meek. Oh. I mean, where yeah. do you well, find? Yeah, I mean, right. where you do you don't find? find stars today. There aren't no. any. The kids today just don't, they don't groom them to be stars today, They're do they? Personalities, that's what it's I mean. Pers exactly. Personalities. By comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it that's is. It's all right. there, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Uh, what, what's really unfortunate is, I think Vivian can, can bear this out, Back in the days when she was under contract to Fox, mm -hmm. they had what they called the studio system. Right. Fox had it. All the major studios had they it. They would, they they would find them. somebody or take them, mm -hmm. groom them, yep. give them fencing lessons, dancing yes, lessons, yes. singing lessons, elocution lessons, French lessons, you name it. Yes. And they groomed them for stardom. Yeah. But look at the result. Yes. No. As compared that. to today, yeah. there's nobody that will take that time anymore. It's too costly. It's too prohibitive. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. it, it and it's, it's sad because they don't have... Um, what I would call a backup. There, right. There's no, there, there's no cushion training to sit there's on. No training where yes. somebody who's really talented, who has the makings to be a star, yes, yes, can go and show it, or, or show it off, or, yes. or be groomed anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, I, what I'm talking about is the cushion of mm -hmm. knowledge. Right. And <clears> they have, uh, they, go, they, they might be around for a while, but because of, of the fact that they don't have that mm -hmm. cushion, they have nothing to draw upon, draw no them. resources. Yes, exactly. And so they're, they're here today and gone tomorrow. In the meantime, they have made that million dollars a yes, year, yes, which is not right. a bad idea, which certainly you never made when you were under contract in the studios. But, uh, but I don't think the money's that important. There's a lady out there is one of the greatest actresses to me in the world, and her name is Kim Stanley. Oh. And to me, uh, she is teaching here in Hollywood yes. now. In Hollywood? In Hollywood. I, I knew she was, uh, she was someplace in the Middle West for no, a while. No, she's here. She? She's back. She's here. It's, uh, Interesting. And she's teaching, and she, to me, is one of the greatest American actresses. Her and yes, Julie she Harris. Is. I yes, just, oh, I adore yeah. these people. Yes. And, and she doesn't care about money. Money's not that important. It's just that work, their love. And, and that's what I find about you, too, and uh, all the great stars of the, that era, mm -hmm. really. They just keep working and because they have that certain thing within themselves. Kim Stanley was, oh, I just adore her. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. The thing Absolutely. with Jessica Lange. Uh, yes, she did. Farmer. Yeah, Francis right, Farmer, exactly. yes. Yeah, that was their last movie. Yeah. Marvelous. Huh? Yeah. The Goddess was great. Mm -hmm. with, uh, mm -hmm. oh, yes. she did. Yeah, right. But um, Vivian, so you are uh, right now, are you, what's your plans right now for the future? Uh, so busy. Well, right now it's Christmas time, and this is, you know, there's nothing else to think about. Are you spend Christmas here well, in, yes. in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. You live in the Valley, huh? Yes. Yes. Van Nuys. Uh, Van Nuys. You're mm -hmm. a Valley lady. Yes, I'm a is, Valley lady. I'm loving it. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Do people in the Valley talk different like they say they do? I should say not. <laughs> they don't? No. <laughs> well, you're not a Valley lady. You're a whirly lady. Uh, John, you live in Hollywood, huh? Yes, I do. In yeah. the house. Uh -huh. right it's a lovely home. Yes. 
Don, I met Don through a lovely lady by the name of Judy Canova, who just uh, passed away. I know, I know. She's and a dear friend of both of us. Oh, really? Do you know Judy? Very, very close. Oh, I didn't friends. know that. Yes. Yeah. And oh, Judy, yeah. I just adored her. We used to, she was my bingo partner, and we used to go every Tuesday night to mm. play bingo. My mother, too? Yes, yeah, yeah. your mother. Yes, yeah. that's how I met you. Yeah. And uh, just, I adored bingo. We her a lot. Uh-huh. And uh, Judy and I used to go, and she was a wonderful lady. Yeah. Did you yes, go to uh, her service? Uh, yes. Yeah, you oh, were yes. there, Don. You yes. were there. Oh, right. Absolutely. I see. Uh -huh. Better that Judy and myself and Vivian and, and Stuart, her husband, used to go out in a foursome, and we had the best laughs. Yeah. But, Don, I want to ask you something this is very important to me. Yeah. Why in the East Coast they gave Judy Canova a big, big write-ups, all of the papers, they didn't and do here... Oh, they did. No, I didn't do it here. Don, they, they just gave her what very did, little no, in West what they Coast. Did is, Why? They jumped the gun because Judy died on Friday, August 5th. And That's right. All the the weekends. Stories, you don't die on weekends, is that it? Unfortunately, it's sad. That's oh, bad. dear Lord. It's ridiculous. I mean, if we knew how to do this, we could time it better. But, I mean, not to be, not to be funny, but uh, yes. she died on Friday at 3.30 or 2.30, I'm sorry. And the biggest stories hit the next day on uh -huh. Saturday. Right. But Saturday, for some reason, in this town, people it's not don't a, read papers. It's not a paper buying day, I suppose. Yes. You know, Sunday yes. is, and Monday was already history. You know, she was number one comedian, yeah. a woman comedian, I think. She was. And you know, the funny thing. The funny thing is, like, I think back talking about Judy now. May she rest in peace. We'd be out at a function or a party or an awards dinner, and somebody would go, fan would come rushing up to her and say, "I don't want this to sound funny, but I thought you were dead, oh. and I'm so glad you're not." Uh -huh. And they always confused her for some reason with Cass Daly. Yeah, they do. Yes. Do you remember yes, Cass Yes, they Daly? do. Yeah. Well, actually, several years, a number of years ago, there was an item in the paper saying that she had passed away. So, lo and behold, we were out here, and we were at some kind of a function, and I turned around, and there is, well, all of a sudden, I'm meeting Judy Canova, and I tell you something, Mike, I just flipped over, uh -huh. and, and I, I, thank God I had the presence of mind not to say it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, w it was quite an experience. Mm -hmm. But quite you'd be amazed how many times we were out and how many people did. Yeah. I mean, they would think nothing of it and then realize what they said after they said it. Yes, see. yes. But they did confuse her a great deal with casting. That's yeah. true. Vivian? Yes. Tell mm -hmm. me, do you find, do you, I'm naturally, I'm going to ask a stupid question, but Hollywood has changed a lot in your days. I mean, the system, the, the uh, people. Well, all, the, oh, the people. The boulevard, naturally. I yeah. Mean, no, it's, the it's, it's, it's changed it's a lot. There's, there's, to me, there's no glamour. There is no glamour. There That's, really isn't. Yeah, not in Hollywood. Anymore. No, yeah. not anymore. It, it's, 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 it's a shame. Sad, sad. It's a shame. They should just clean up Hollywood Boulevard and just, it's a... Uh, because the tourists come here and they see this, and this is... I know. Um, I remember the first time I saw Hollywood and Vine. Uh, when I, I had, I made my screen test in New York and signed the contract in New York and then came out here uh -huh. with my mother. And the first time I saw Hollywood and Vine, I thought, Myself. Mama mia. I don't know what I expected. Streets paved with gold. Yes. I expected to see all of the stars walking around in the white suits. That's and what everybody expects. Ev yeah. Everything. And yeah. it's just a Even then it was a mess. Yeah. And that was a hundred years ago. Yes, yes. John, do you, <laughs> but you, you, really you, you find now. it uh... Well, I'll tell you what really, really tears me apart are seeing the changes and not being able to preserve what little that's left. Yeah. For instance, I think Vivian and Stewart are very, very aware of this. About, what was it, about three years ago with the Brown Derby? Mm -hmm. on, on we fought tooth and nail. She was running around <coughs> signing petitions, and Stewart was getting names, and I was getting, and people were just co making phone calls like crazy. Mm -hmm. They were going to build, what was it, a high rise or something yeah. on that corner? The original Brown Derby. On Wilshire Boulevard. Like right, 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 exactly. Right, of course. right across from the Ambassador. Right. <coughs> well, as it turns out, here, here we are, three years or three and a half years later. Still not there. The derby part is still left, but the whole beautiful restaurant that made history in Hollywood is gone, and there's no high-rise yes, there. Yes, yes, three years after. There Why? Is Isn't that wife. stupid? Isn't there somebody? Isn't and then the other day, I went to this auction at Schwab's, and people are standing there crying tears who've been going there for 50 years. Yes. Edith Fellows, to, to be named yes. one. All kinds of, every familiar character face you've ever seen, mm -hmm. standing there crying tears because there was no way to save something that should have been designated a land. Why do they close Schwab's down? You should know. It was some kind of a family, a family well, that's, problem. That's, and one of the brothers died, and, and uh, there's different stories floating around. But, but they're going to put a big building up there. That's what I This heard. is what they say. But then the same thing happened three years ago but as well on, on Hollywood Boulevard mm -hmm. with a place that was called Peyton Hall. If you knew the stars who lived there over the years, mm -hmm. three years later, it's still a vacant lot. Mm -hmm. 
you know, there's not much left. Mm -hmm. Let's keep what little yes, that we have true. left. Wouldn't that be marvelous? True, yes. Vivian, I want, where do people buy this album now? Is it out? Oh. Is it out right now? I'd like Yes, to... it has just come out about a month late. But, a uh, month late. It's worth I want to get one. Um, in Chicago, the Rose Records. Uh -huh. uh, in New York, Doubleday, J&R Music World, Tower Records, Colony Records. Tower. Mm -hmm. And out here, in San Francisco, I'm sorry, uh, Tower Records and Record House. Uh -huh. And out here uh, in L.A., it's Tower Records and Aaron's Records. Aaron's, okay, fine. I want, and Tower Records in, uh, on the Strip out here. Mm -hmm. That's the most marvelous and picture. And please, yeah, it's a great please, picture. for God's please, sake, wait, tell your friends. Buy tell your this friends. album, please. We need it for... AIDS. And all oh. the money's going to AIDS, please. Buy this album. This is a beautiful picture of Miss Vivian Blaine and wonderful songs by Miss Vivian Blaine. All her beautiful songs. Beautiful Thank picture. You. Who did the Thank picture, Vivian? Funnily well, enough, done by a priest. Really? By a priest? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. he, um, Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah he's, he's a wonderful, he's a very young man. He's 33. Uh huh. And um, we had, we, well, I won't go into it, but mm -hmm. this, is, this is the second photographer that I went mm -hmm. to because the first one that, I, that we went to wanted to be paid. Yes. And, of course, this was all done, the, the record, everything, everything, everybody connected with it did it for nothing. Oh, great. That's great. So, with the exception all of the musicians, as yes, is always naturally. the case, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, anyway, uh, we came upon this man, and whatever, he, he's, he's won awards for his photography, mm -hmm. and whatever, <coughs> pardon me, uh, what, whatever monies he derives go into his church. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not well, a, beautiful. it's not a... That's, Vivian, I really want to thank you. A great pleasure. And I... Believe me, all that money, ladies and gentlemen out there, buy Miss Vivian Blaine's album. Thank you. Helps the AIDS. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so thank you, much. Vivian. Happy holidays. John, thank you, darling. Thank you for John, having me. John, thank you for Enjoyed coming on. I really, I, I'm looking better at National Enquirer. You should. You brought it out. You should. You should. You we, uh, we're there for a reason. Yes. To entertain and you to brought it out, John. Expose thank our you. friends. Like yes, thank you very much Blaine. for coming. You know, okay? And ladies and gentlemen. Very good to me. <laughs> thank you. I want to say, be kind to others. This is Skippy Lowe from Hollywood. Thank you. 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 Thank you.